Hello and welcome to today's session. Today we are looking at oral oral care, oral health care. And we're starting with a question uh, and the question reads that when the nurse performs oral hygiene for unconscious patient, which nursing intervention is a priority, guys? Which nursing intervention is a priority? So for our patient here is unconscious client. Well, we are going to have several situations where the nurse will be required to assist a patient perform oral care for the conscious patient, unconscious patient, patient with dentures, patient without dentures, and we have to know exactly what uh, should be done. For the case here, they're saying that you keep the sanction machine available, you place the patient in prone position, you wear a sterile gloves while brushing the client's teeth or use a gauze wrapped around the fingers to clean the client's gums. Okay, guys. So the introduction to this part, we are saying that oral, oral care normally promotes patient comfort, nutritional intake, oral health, and reduces denture, plug, uh, oral colonization by bacteria, and mucosal inflammation. So that is the importance of oral oral health. So we must perform it on our patient to achieve this. Research has also indicated that changes in oral bacterial colonization normally occur within 48 hours. So within 48 hours, the changes are occurring. Normally, aspiration of small amounts of secretions while asleep can occur even in health adults. From such, uh, from such cases, such as supine positioning or the use of medication. And, and in this case, the two, two of these things, they normally lead to suppression of the CNS. So aspiration of small droplets doesn't usually cause pneumonia. However, in combination with decreased, mo uh, decreased mobility, okay, patient bedridden, Changes in oral colonization as a result of not brushing, okay, not cleaning the teeth, are or they will increase the risk of infection uh, due to organism growth in that respiratory tract. So without effective oral care, a patient can develop hospital-acquired pneumonia, guys. Okay, so providing health care, uh, providing oral health care should include brushing the teeth, gums, and the tongue with a soft compact head toothbrush using an oral rinse and moisturizing the oral mucosa. This is essential in maintaining the patient's general health. So what are the equipments in performing this? You need, um, you need gloves, okay? You need oral moisturizer. You, you need an oral rinse, preferably alcohol-free. Uh, you have to know that alcohol normally leads to dehydration, guys, so we try to avoid such. Soft, compact uh, head, head, head toothbrush that will be actually used for cleaning and, there, and therefore swabs, okay? Swabs. So we have toothbrush, preferably plaque removing. The optional things here, guys, we could have a dental floss, you know, for the one that will be used for flossing uh, the teeth, okay? It's like a thread, yeah? Or the emesis where they spit, or facility-approved oral assessment tool. We could have goggles, mask, with face shield. Uh, these are optional, guys. What of a patient who can't ex expectorate or is dependent, okay? So for a dependent person where you are supposed to give full care, okay? You're supposed to have a suction equipment. You're supposed to have um, a suction tooth toothbrush. And you can have an optional block or mouth prop. So this one is you're supposed to, the, you're supposed to put in the patient's mouth so that the patient can bite and this one will keep the mouth open and it will be enable you to perform the oral hygiene for that patient. So for a patient with dentures or no teeth, we have optional uh, equipments, the, uh, den denture cup for holding the dentures, commercial denture cleanser for cleaning the dentures, then you have denture adhesive 
paper towels. So what's the preparation for this equipment? You need to inspect all the equipments and supplies to ensure that they are not expired, they are not defective, they are not compromised, okay? And if so, you have to remove, label, and report according to the facility uh, guidelines. You set up the suction equipment, yeah? If necessary, so that to make sure that it's functioning properly to prevent aspiration during oral, oral care. So what is the implementation procedure, guys? You need to gather and prepare the necessary equipment and supplies. You perform hand hygiene for at least 20 to 40 seconds. You need to confirm the patient uh, using identity, uh, identity uh, the two patient identifiers, probably the name and the date of birth, yeah, date of birth. Great. You need to explain the procedure to the patient and family if appropriate, okay, according to the individual communication and learning needs. You, you see this one, the importance of this one is that it normally increases the understanding, allays any fears, and enhances uh, cooperation. Also, remember to provide privacy. Some patients can turn out this offer by when they just realize that you are not providing privacy. Remember to raise the bed to the waist level for proper ergonomics. Uh, this one will prevent caregiver back strain. Perform hand hygiene. Put on the gloves, okay? Preferably the clean gloves, okay? Other uh, PPEs as appropriate so that we are able to comply with the standard or universal precautions. You need to assess the patient's current oral hygiene regimen and self-care ability to determine the necessary level of oral oral care. Assess the patient's oral health using the facility approved tools. Okay, remember you need to be assessing the teeth. Don't forget the gums, the lips, the mucosa, and the saliva. What about for patients who can expectorate and perform the self-care themselves? Okay, you need to support them by setting up an oral an oral care supplies for the patient at the sink or an overbed table. So instruct the patient to brush the teeth, the gums, and the tongue. Okay, and this should be probably twice a day, but ideally it should be four times uh, per day. Okay, so after each meal, at bedtime, in the morning, midday, evening, bedtime, okay? You need to brush the teeth for at least two minutes. Guys, for every session, remember to at least brush for two minutes. You need to place the toothbrush at 45 degree angle to the gums. Move the brush back and forth and gently using short strokes. Brush the outer, inner, and then chewing surfaces over the tree. Tilt the brush vertically and make several up and down strokes to clean the inside surface of the front teeth. Brush the teeth and the tongue to remove the bacteria. You need to instruct the client to clean between the, the teeth daily, okay, using the dental floss. You advise the patient to clean before or after brushing at a time of, uh, of a day, preferably. It, research has shown that there is no optimal time for cleaning between the, the, the teeth, okay? They can be flossed anytime. You need to make sure that you use a uh, 45 centimeters uh, floss around, around one of the middle fingers with the rest around the opposite middle finger. You hold the floss tightly between the, the thumb and the four fingers and gently insert it between the, the teeth. Curve the floss with a C-shaped against the side of the, 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 the tooth. Then rub the floss gently up and down. Keep it pressed against the tooth. The tooth. Don't jerk or snap the floss. Okay, floss all the teeth, including behind the the, the back teeth, okay? So you can see guys, there's a nurse here doing a great job. Okay, the equipment's here, okay? And is encouraging our patient to floss the teeth, okay? You can see the thread, great guys. So remember to instruct the patient to switch 
oral rinse around uh, in the mouth and then to spit it in the either sink or the emesis bin, guys. So tell the patient to moisturize the oral mucosa lips and this should be done every two to four hours if desired. And this is just to reduce oral inflammation and improve oral oral health. What about for patient who can't expect, expectorate or is dependent for oral health? Like our question in this, in this case. So if necessary, you need to insert a bite block or a, a mouth probe to hold the patient's mouth open during care. You need to brush the teeth the gums, the tongue, with soft, compact head uh, toothbrush and toothpaste at least twice per day, but ideally it should be four times per day. When you are brushing, you need to do it for at least two minutes at each session, okay? You, you suction the patient's oral cavity using a, a, a tonsil tip suction. So this one prevents aspiration of secretions and debris. Alternatively, you can moisten a suction toothbrush with an oral rinse and then brush the patient teeth, gums, and tongue with the toothbrush attached to the continuous suction to prevent aspiration. Okay? Okay, we can use whichever is available. If performed as part of the oral healthcare facility, you, need, you make sure you need to clean between the patient teeth daily with dental floss. Okay? Use the method desired above, okay, for cleaning the tooth. Okay, so guys, we just saw how we can floss, okay. So you use a moisture and swab, apply oral rinse to reduce uh, microbial colonization. You also need to make sure that you are um, applying the, 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 the you're, you're moisturizing the oral mucosa and lips every two to four hours just to reduce oral inflammation and improving oral oral health. For patients uh, with dentures, they may be having dentures or naughty. You instruct the patient to remove the dentures for those who have, okay, and place them in a labeled denture cup. Alternatively, if the patient is unable, you assist to remove the dentures and place them in a denture labeled cup. You brush the patient's uh, palate, buccal surfaces, gums, tongue with a soft toothbrush or swab at least twice per day. But you have said ideally it should be four times. Instruct the patient to squeeze, okay, or, or uh, oral rinse around the mouth and then spit it into the sink or in the messy's uh, basin. You Before adding water to the sink, guys, we have dentures here. So before adding the water to the sink, you, remember, you make sure to line the sink with a paper towel just to cushion the dentures in case someone drops them. Okay? Otherwise, you're going to lose the dentures of the patient. Carefully uh, brush, brush the dentures using a soft brush and warm water. Guys, for dentures, don't use a toothpaste. Why? Because it may scratch the dentures. Okay? If the patient requires denture adhesive to hold the dentures firmly in place, apply it according to the manufacturer's instructions. Assist the patient with putting the dentures into the mouth. You can also soak the dentures in commercial cleanser in a labeled denture cup if the patient desires. Use a swab. Apply a moisture to the oral mucosa and lips every two to four hours to reduce oral inflammation and oral health. Guys... So when you are completing the procedure, remember to assess the patient's oral health to evaluate effectiveness of oral care. Return the bed to the lowest position, and this is to prevent falls and maintain patient safety. Guys, we can have a, li a link will be popping up on the ca different categories of patients that are at a risk of fall and how to manage. Next, you remember to discard all the supp least supplies in appropriate receptacles. You remove and discard your, the gloves and other PPs that you had worn. Perform hand hygiene. Put on gloves as necessary. Clean and disinfect other reusable equipment. Okay, this just helps to prevent the spread of infection. Remove and discard your gloves if worn. Perform hand hygiene. Refer the patient to a dental professional as indicated. 
and document our procedure. What are the special consideration? Saying that if the patient resists, we are going to have situations where patients are going to resist oral care. So you need to obtain, uh, uh, obtain assistance from a co-worker or a, a caregiver as necessary. And remember to use skillfully strategic communication. Guys, a link on therapeutic communication of a nurse will be popping up. You can review and see how best to communicate to clients. Some patients resist oral care through disruptive behaviors and cognitive impairment. So if necessary, attempt oral care at a different time of the day when the patient may be more cooperative or may now consider to be in a suitable environment. Okay, part of it could be privacy, guys. So what are the patient teaching? You instruct the patient uh, as necessary in, uh, in proper oral hygiene, okay, and the need for regular follow-up with a dental professional. Are there any complications of oral care? Yes, bleeding could result, pain in patients uh, with gums disease, loose teeth, or ulceration in the mouth, also, we could have tooth dislodgement in patients with loose teeth, okay? So, in documentation, guys, we need to document all the following, yeah? Date and time of oral care that you've done, whether the patient uh, assisted in performing oral care or you did it yourself, uh, type of oral care that you administered, patient's response to the procedure, some of them may turn down, okay? Uh, recording successful strategies in oral uh, hygiene or okay. care. Unusual conditions that may occur uh, do also need to be documented, like bleeding, yeah, edema, mouth odor, excessive excretion, loose teeth, plug should also be uh, documented. So teaching provided to the patient and family, if you did any, you need also to document, document the understanding okay and the need for follow-up teaching okay so guys our question was uh the our, our question for the day was that when the nurse performs oral hygiene for unconscious client which intervention is the priority keep a suction uh, machine available place the client in a prone position Wear the sterile gloves while brushing the client's teeth. Use a gauze wrapped around the fingers to clean the client's gum. Okay, guys, just like we have talked of epilepsy, okay, you should never put anything in the patient's mouth. You can be beaten, guys, and this is not safe for you, okay? So this one, we can rule it out, okay? We rule it out. Wear sterile gloves while brushing the patient. We have said, guys, we can just use clean gloves, okay? Single-use gloves. There is no need to use sterile gloves, okay? This is a clean procedure. Place the client in prone position. Guys, in prone position, that is, they are facing, they are facing down, guys. So how are you going to access the oral cavity? Yeah? They should be side, side lying, okay? They should be sideline so guys by just eliminating the wrong answer we are able to arrive at our correct answer anyway when you're talking about in priority we always talk about um the doctors abc so and which of these options is affecting the doctors abc a b c okay so airway is implicated here guys okay Okay, we have to maintain, the objective is to maintain the airway patent. So keep the suction machine available so that we can use it for suctioning. So guys, did you cover it in our lecture here? Did you have it here in our patient? Patient who is dependent, yeah? Yeah. So we had talked of, yes, suction, the oral using a tonsil suction to prevent aspiration, yeah? So this is here, guys, okay? It's here, it's here, here in this lecture. So guys, thank you so much for having us in uh, today. Uh, we were looking at oral care. Kindly go through the, 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 the lecture. 
and you can also access the free quiz in our description section of this video just to test your knowledge. Thank you so much.